in our fan club. Tuesday 5th March marks the beginning of a five-day water week for the Ministry of Water and Environment, South Western Region Office. Part of the activities of this year's Water Week include restoration of the lost ecosystems along River Rizi through planting of a series of tree species, mainly bamboo shoots along her banks. Kati tuangala mtu yambe waya. Mtu ita tujira mudala mangu. Metula banga tukua atakata wa muna mwe. Kati tuangala tukule vino, nyabisigalanga viva yamba. Hopa Simwe, a senior forestry officer of Ministry of Water and Environment attached to the Southwestern Region Office, explains on the choice of tree species. Our recommended tree species is to take a take a ne yamba can ne kubayamba to add a bamboo. Never get to Mugano, Mizamena Nukumania. To achieve this, there is need for deliberate efforts and support of communities, especially those whose land stretches up to the river shores. Robert Mugabe Kachebezi, the Ambara city mayor, is of the view that this is ideal to build consensus with communities to at least have a 30 meter buffer zone instead of pursuing to achieve the mandatory 100 meter buffer zones. Mugabe believes that this approach is not only friendly and inclusive but also cost effective. It's more and grow big. That's my view. We can start with 30 meters, then we know we are supposed to achieve 100 meters, then after achieving 30 we can go to 50. We can go to 60 as time goes on, but you better achieve something other than hoping to achieve more which you cannot achieve and it becomes a dream. It should be noted that River Rizi, apart from being Uganda's second longest river, is a major source of water for Mbarara City, Mbarara District and the surrounding districts. <laughs> Meanwhile, after setting the pace for Mbarara Water Week commemorations, the 518-kilometer walkers are now headed for Liantonde District and route Kampala by the 14th of March, 2024.